Hello, Rick here, and this light law video is on the barriers of Star Trek. Not shields, no, I mean the galaxy-spanning cosmic energies that surround the Milky Way. These are phenomena that you may not be familiar with if you've never seen the original series or the original films, as the bridge crew of the Enterprise are some of the only people in existence to have made trips to both the centre and the outer limits of the Milky Way galaxy. Back in one of Captain Kirk's earliest missions, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 reaches the galactic barrier. This whirling mass of negative energy surrounds the Milky Way like a bubble. Negative energy is a concept that comes about through our attempted understanding of quantum physics, and is a term for a plethora of… well… opposites. I feel that whenever you put basically in front of a quantum physics problem, it's going to be wrong. But basically, it encompasses a myriad of theoretical particles and forces that must exist to balance certain principles we're pretty sure do exist. Trek loves doing this. So this exotic energy barrier just sits there, isolating our galaxy from whatever lies beyond. It barely registers on sensors, though, and appears as a purple maelstrom the further through it you go, and is thickest at the rim of our spinning spiral beyond which are the filaments and dark matter of the void between galaxies. The barrier's effects on ships are horrendous, its energies can mostly pass through deflector shields, heat up the hull to well over 2000 degrees, and even penetrate the hull of a ship and affect the nervous systems of the crew on board. It often wrecks a vessel passing through it, causing many malfunctions, while the chaotic and difficult to detect nature of the energies make it near impossible to navigate. Transmissions and sensors are unable to pass through it either. The Enterprise failed to travel through the barrier on its first attempt, but discovered a peculiar effect. Espers, those humans with high potential for telepathic prowess, had their powers drastically amplified if they managed to survive. A race from beyond our galaxy, from Andromeda, called the Kelvin Empire, also lost a vessel entering the Milky Way, suggesting that the same phenomenon doesn't encompass their home galaxy. They attempted to steal the Enterprise and bring it back through the barrier with modifications to increase its speed. So the galactic barrier can be crossed, as the Enterprise accelerated well beyond Warp 11 due to the Kelvin's advanced technology and passed through it. Although another attempt ended up almost stranding them indefinitely in a navigational void, without the ability to reliably identify where they were. The crew was ultimately unsure if they had crossed over the barrier completely, or caused some form of space-time void to occur. The Enterprise D, under Jean-Luc Picard, was catapulted beyond the Milky Way into the M33 galaxy with a crazy warp drive experiment conducted by a transdimensional being. Star Trek, everybody. The vessel was moving at unfathomable speeds at the time, far faster than Kirk's misadventure, so it seems that taking the galactic barrier at an intense speed might allow you to force your way across it. Like running across hot coals, I guess. The exposure is kept to tolerable levels. The Great Barrier is a second barrier. This one located at the core of the galaxy. It is speculated that this and the Galactic Barrier actually meet, with the Great Barrier making it into a sort of donut shape, but this hasn't been explored thoroughly by Starfleet. This barrier, much like the outer one, is a whirling mass of unidentifiable energy, not to be confused with the Matter Energy Whirlwind, which also resides at the centre of the galaxy. However, unlike the Galactic Barrier, the Great Barrier could be traversed with little effect on a vessel, though perhaps this is only at certain points. As with the Galactic Barrier, however, sensors could not pass through it, and no probe has ever returned from beyond its edge, so no one knew what to expect, except a supermassive black hole somewhere. Though in 2287 the USS Enterprise NCC-1701A passed through it after being commandeered by Cybok and found a planet, Shakari. On this planet dwelt an incredibly powerful but malevolent entity that was attempting to escape imprisonment. What else exists at the galactic core is unknown, but suffice to say, it has proven to be a very dangerous place to explore, with it also being the location of Sagittarius A star, the actual supermassive black hole spindle that our vinyl spins around. It is referenced in several external sources, and supported by evidence from the Kelvin Empire, that the barriers are a unique feature to the Milky Way. As such, there have been several theories about their origin, whether they were created or natural. 
The fact that you seem to require phenomenal velocities to cross the galactic barrier safely seems to go hand in hand with the fact you'd need such speeds to begin exploring neighbouring galaxies, so maybe it's a good thing that such a barrier exists. If you can breach it, you can reach the neighbouring galaxies in decent time. One of my favourite theories comes from a series of books where the Q are stated to have imposed the barriers to both imprison the entity at Shakari, called One, and to keep out a power on par with the Q that called itself Zero. This entity was brought here by a Q from a, another dimension to alleviate his boredom, before he realised the danger Zero posed, once aware of our universe. It also states that this cosmic origin for the barrier is why espers end up overpowered, as they unintentionally siphon off some of the Q continuum's power when in the barrier. If not created by the Q, there are other stories that reference the barriers being for the galaxy's protection, such as the Kalia from Star Trek Destiny novels. They refer to great threats that lie beyond the galaxy, and that they cannot pass through the barrier. Neither of these explanations are completely canon. But what do you think of the barriers? Natural or created? And if they were built to protect life within the Milky Way, then that raises a terrifying question. What do we need protecting from? What exactly lurks out there in the dark? What's out there? Waiting. Bye.